Oh my gosh, we're pumped. Yes, we need it. It's going to be a substantial amount and it might be the last one we see of the season. Pismo Beach, our 805 webcams showing us clouds increasing, getting ready for that storm system. Going to see a good amount of rain. So where's it at? It's making its way towards us. It's made landfall in the northern parts of California, but we won't see most of that until Monday. And then just like that, it's headed out southward to the forecast area on Tuesday and we dry out and we warm up pretty nicely and pretty quickly actually. Our forecast winds though were ahead of that storm and it got very gusty today, still gusty even now. As we head into the later hours of the night, we're seeing things upwards of 20, 25, even 30 mile an hour gusts. And as we head into midnight, that's when we'll see our storm system make landfall where we're at in this forecast area. And that's when we also start to see our winds pick up just a bit again. But just like that, as we get through the day on Monday, things finally start to calm down a little bit. As for the rain though, we'll still see the rain continue to fall throughout the day on on Monday, just the wind will not be backing it up as much. Alrighty, so where is that storm system at right now? Where is it going to be in the next couple of hours? And how much rain are we talking? Well, this is where it's at right now. You can see pockets of pretty heavy rain fall down by Salinas and Santa Cruz, but it's up in the northern parts of California. Taking a wider look comparatively to where we are, you can see it's making its way closer. You could be feeling just trace amounts of rain right now in certain areas, especially in the south facing slopes, because with that southwest wind we're seeing, it's aiding in the rain fall in those certain areas and they'll also be the areas that see the most amount of rain. So let's time it out. You can see as we head into midnight, that's when we're seeing landfall. It's becoming more widespread, but in the overnight hours from midnight to about 7 a.m., that's when we'll see the highest rainfall rates. We've got a nice little pocket of moderate rain through Santa Maria, San Inez, up through San Luis Obispo and Paso Robles, and it's making its way out. We're getting two waves of rain. You can see a tiny little bit of a break. You might not even notice it, and then we got a another round, which is also bringing in some unstable air. We're going to get the possibility of thunderstorms throughout the afternoon on Monday. And that second wave will not be as heavy consistently as that first wave overnight. Let's see how much rain we're talking about. As we head through the night into tomorrow, we're seeing almost an inch, like I said, by that 7 a.m. hour, we've gotten pretty high totals. At the end of this system by Monday evening, everywhere almost here, about an inch. Santa Barbara could be upwards of two inches, and I'm thinking we might, we might get a little bit more over in Cambria, at least an inch. So we could see from half an inch up to two inches, three inches locally in some areas. So what are the implications of this storm? Two waves of rain and thunderstorms possible during during the afternoon, but we also have to use some caution by the beaches. We've got high surf because of the winds, lightning is possible, and we also could see some isolated water spouts due to all that wind. Also, burn scars could see some issues. The Alisal Fire burn scar, make sure that you are using caution if you're driving through there. I know they have a protection plan in place right now in Santa Barbara County, so take a look if you live nearby. Our high is going to be all in the 50s for tomorrow. North Coast in those mid 50s, Avila Beach 58. Swinging down to the five cities, we've got a lot of upper 50s. Nowhere here skating by in the 60s. San Inez 56, Los Alamos 57. And that seven day forecast warms up pretty rapidly. By Tuesday, we're drying out, clearing up. And we've also got 70s by the end of the week. Same in Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo, or in Santa Barbara and Santa Maria. We're in those upper 60s to 70s in some areas pretty fast. Casey.